Now we're going to take a look at report filters, slicers, and pivot charts. You can see that our pivot table shows the total sales per retailer. As you can see, Ray's Nursery is the retailer that purchases the most pepper seeds. However, what if we wanted to narrow a report filter to show which retailer purchased the most packages of long, thin cayenne pepper seeds? All that we would need to do is first click on the product field and drag it into the filters area. Now take a look at the pivot table and notice that a filter has been added. Now we'll click on the drop down arrow and select long thin cayenne pepper seeds and click OK. Now our pivot table is filtering out the total sales of all other varieties of pepper seeds other than long thin cayenne peppers. You can also add slicers to your pivot tables to analyze your data in an even more efficient manner. To add a slicer, click on the Analyze tab under Pivot Table Tools and click on Insert Slicer in the Filter group. A dialog box will appear giving you options to check the filter you want. In our case, we are going to check the Retailer box. Now we can click on the Retailer and our pivot table report will show only the retailer we choose. We are able to select multiple retailers if we want. If we want our pivot table to report multiple retailers, all we have to do is select the retailers we choose while holding down the control button. You can see that the pivot table changes. You can also choose multiple retailers by holding down your clicker and dragging your mouse over the adjacent retailers. Another feature that comes with pivot tables is a tool called pivot charts. Pivot charts are just like regular Excel charts except they change with the changes made to the pivot table. To add a pivot chart, click on the Analyze tab under Pivot Table Tools and then click on Pivot Chart in the Tools group. Select the type of chart you want and click OK. As you make changes to your pivot table, your chart will automatically change. As always, the best way to learn is to take the time to experiment. Play with your pivot table, filters, and pivot charts and see just how specific you can make your pivot table report.